Good morning, it is Monday and the plan today is getting to the lab, get orders done. Uh, there's a lot of orders coming over the weekend so we're going to get them done, ready for the postie. And then we'll see man, I've got a list of stuff to work through as always. Uh, I kind of want to get a blog post written again, it's been a few weeks since I've written a blog post. So there's a few ideas I've got in my head, I'd like to get them written down. Um, we'll see if I get time to do that today. Uh, yeah, and I take it for there. New tattoo is healing well, using the tattoo balm, the Broadbeard tattoo balm on it. And it's healing well. It's kind of at a scabby stage now, but the uh, the balm's keeping it well moisturised, which is nice. So uh, yeah, retain, retaining the detail and stuff in there, which is nice. Um, so yeah, we obviously will lube that up at some point today as well. Uh, the weekend was good. It was family time, chilling with the family, and uh, doing the usual cutting the grass, that kind of stuff. So rock and roll. Um, but yeah. Back in the lab this week, uh, making fresh batches as well. Need to make fresh shampoo, fresh oils as well um, for the orders today. So, yeah, it's all go, it's all go. And then tomorrow, hopefully, I'm finally going to do the sunglasses photo shoot tomorrow. Um, you know, my arm does look like half finished, a half finished tattoo, it's because it is, but uh, I need to get this photo shoot done. So, yeah, I'll just have a half finished tattoo in the photo shoot. It's fine, it's all good, it's all good. Right. I'm going to just head into the lab and uh, get started and we'll see how the day goes. See you in a little bit. Alright, so this is a new blog post that I wrote today, how to train your beard to grow down. It's a question I've been asked a lot here, you can see this was in 2014 I think, my beard just looking all over the shop, uh, and this is it, you know, a few weeks ago. Um, so yeah, this is the techniques that I've used to make it grow down to kind of train the hair. Obviously it is easier when the beard is longer, but there are certain things you can do which are highlighted in this blog post. So, I will leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. That's the latest episode of the broadcast up on YouTube and Spotify now, if you want to check it out. It's me and Billy chatting from the Isle of Man when we've done the Viking Longboat Race. It's a short one, it's only like 10-15 minutes long. So yeah, check it out, let me know what you think. And uh, it's in the description below if you want to check it out. Alright, that's Monday done. It's been a busy day again, there was a lot of orders there, so there we are now. Uh, there's a couple of international ones as well, so there we do. And then, what do I do? I worked on the broadcast from last night, there was a broadcast, a podcast episode last night with Billy and myself. I recorded it uh, when I was in the Isle of Man with Billy. It's like a, a Viking longbow special. It's only 15 minutes long or something, it's not long at all. That went out live last night, well, went out recorded, but went live last night. Uh, and then I uploaded it to YouTube and Spotify today. So I was doing that today. Uh, made a wee short video for it as well for promo. Uh, sorted some email stuff and wrote a blog post as well. The blog post I mentioned earlier that I wanted to do. Finally got that written. So that is up on the website now. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Right, that is Monday done. <coughs> I'll just, you know that way when you swallow saliva and you can feel yourself want to choke and cough. <coughs> that's what I've done like 10 seconds into this clip and I've been trying to suppress it the whole time anyway, here we are <coughs> um, yeah, that's Monday done I'm going to head home, chill with the family before bedtime and I'll be in again tomorrow uh, we've got Tuesday night check-in tomorrow night and just some admin stuff I need to get done uh, and then Wednesday, be back filming on Wednesday um, also I wasn't at the gym this morning got a new tattoo so I'm letting that heal Um I don't want to run sweat through the pores too much, so yeah, let that rest. I'm not going to go to the gym on Wednesday because it's starting to it's starting to peel a wee bit as they do, so uh, I don't want to disrupt that. Um, so avoid the gym on Wednesday, but I'll be there on Friday. So yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Catch you later. Good morning. It's Wednesday, and the plan today is get into the lab, get orders done. There's a lot of orders coming last night, so I'm going to get them done. Uh, ready for the postie, and then I'm going to work on uh, some photos. I managed to get a photo shoot done last night with a friend uh, for the new sunglasses. So I've been waiting for ages. I've been waiting for weeks. Maybe I'm thinking it's about six weeks. I've been waiting to get 
photo shoot with these sunglasses, but the weather's just been so bad. So it was sunny last night, so I managed to get one done. So uh, yeah, I'm going to work on the photos today. So that's going to be my job this afternoon, really, after the orders are done, is edit the photos, get them out online and stuff. Uh, yeah, so happy got that done. Uh, we had the Tuesday night check-in last night as well, which was good. It was a busy one, which was nice. Nice to get some chat going. Um, I think that's kind of it, really. I think that's kind of it. So that's the plan today. Orders, edit photos, squeeze in anything else I can get done as well. All right, I'm going to head into the lab, get started, and I will see you in a little bit. See ya. That's a fresh batch of the relaxing recovery bath salts just made. The lab smells incredible. If you struggle with sore muscles or even struggle to sleep at nights, try these bath salts if you have a bath in the house, honestly. I use them after training. I use them after stressful weeks. Like I'm just struggling to sleep. I've got a lot in my mind. The lavender, the marjoram, Scots pine and kajiput mixture in here is great for, for relaxing you, man. It relaxes the muscles but also helps get a good sleep as well. I made these to start with helping the athletes that we sponsor. We sponsor a lot of, at the time, a lot of ice hockey players, motorcycle racers, that kind of thing. They were using it to relax after training or competing, but they found they were getting a really good sleep off the back of them as well. And it was to do with the mixture, the essential oil mixture was helping them sleep. So yeah, they're very popular. Like I said, just made a fresh batch of these. So uh, yeah, get yourself a fresh, fresh one now. And uh, there's a link in the description below if you want to check them out. Here's a wee sneak peek at the photos that we done last night. They came out pretty well. The sun was out, finally. So I managed to get some photos with a friend for the sunglasses. I hope you like them. The last batch of the sunglasses are on the website now. Ooh, that is... When's it done? It's... Hang on. It's, ah, give me a there we go. Woo! It's a hot one today again, which is cool. Uh, What's been happening today? I got the orders done, uh, and then started working on the photos for the from the photo shoot yesterday for these glasses and the other glasses, the black ones too. I uh, got them all done, so that is a bonus. Um, and then got them kind of social media post online because I got a new batch of these in as well. It'll be the last ever batch of the uh, oil slick sunglasses, so they're available now. Um, once they're gone, they're gone. So if you want to grab some. If they're still in stock, um, they are available at the link below. Go check them out. Um, I never got time to do the customer review of the week because orders came in. Uh, yeah, well, in the last hour there was orders coming in, so I just got them done, ready to go out in the morning. Uh, so I'll do customer review of the week tomorrow. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, setting up meetings. I've got a meeting on Friday. I'll also get the vlog done on Friday. I'll be in tomorrow. Um, Got the opportun opportunity to do something cool tomorrow. We'll see if I can do it or not. Um, but I will be in the lab afternoon if that does happen. If not, I'll be in the lab all day, but I'm not filming. Um, but if the cool thing happens, I'll film a little bit of it and let you see it. Um, that's it. That's it. Right, I'm going to boost. Head home, chill with the family, enjoy the weather in the garden. And I will see you all on Friday. Catch you later. Good morning, it is Friday, and the plan today is get into the lab, get orders done, there's a lot of orders there, so I need to get them done ready for the post day, and then I uh, got a couple of meetings as well, back to back, uh, 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock, and then get the vlog done, ready for going on YouTube tonight. Uh, I'm not obviously not in the gym this morning either, my tattoo is still healing, um, I'm going to give it, yeah, give it over the weekend, and then back in the gym on Monday, get back to normal, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, yesterday was cool. I went up to ACS Aviation in Perth in the morning and uh, got me flight lesson, man. It was cool.
I've always wanted to be able to fly an aeroplane since I left school. That's what I wanted to do. And I just never got the opportunity. Um, it's an expensive thing to do, and uh, it takes a lot of time. So, um, yeah, I always had the, the idea that I'd like to get my, my um, private pilot's license at some point. So yesterday was a wee taster for that. It was the first lesson. It was cool. Um, in all honesty, I can't see me doing it anytime soon because the airport was up in Perth. So it's like an hour and a half to get there. And on the way up, I got a phone call saying there's a chance it might not happen today because the weather's not the best. Um, so yeah, that may happen more often, you know what I mean, if you're you're learning. So I don't have time to commit to that at the moment with the young family in the business. So done the first lesson yesterday. It was really cool. Really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, it's something I'll put on the back burner for now. Maybe it might happen at some point, might not, I don't know. But it was good fun. Um, you know, I might go for another lesson at some point, just to kind of itch that scratch, as it were, or scratch that itch. Scratch that itch, that's the one. Um, right, with that said, I'm going to head into the lab, get started on orders, and then, like I say, got a couple of meetings, so I need to get these orders done before then. So I'm going to go. I will see you in a little bit. See ya. That is Friday done. Uh, it feels like it's been a quick week again, but I guess the last vlog I've done was the Viking boat race from last week. So uh, yeah, this one feels a bit shorter, because it is. Um, but yeah, it's been a busy week again, there's been a lot of orders this week, so thank you very much for your support. Uh, like I mentioned on the vlog before, all the likes, the shares, the subscriptions, etc. help the channel. And with that, we've got new features unlocked. So I'm going to do a voiceover here, because I've totally forgot what they are. <laughs> but here's the new features we've unlocked. Alright, so here's the membership options for the Broadbeard YouTube channel. If you go up to the top there where the red arrow is and click join, you can join the channel for $4.99 per month and that gives you exclusive access to some new features. One being early access to videos, one being loyalty badges next to your name in the comments and live chat. There'll be behind the scenes photo and status updates for members only, member only shout outs, member only live chats, that kind of thing. So I'll be doing that. It's $4.99 per month, you can sign up on the Broadbeard YouTube channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for the channel, let me know, and uh, you're more than welcome to put in your comments. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Thank you very much for your support. It does mean a lot to me. Um, I think that's kind of it, really. This weekend is going to be family time, chilling with the family. I'm going to get Danny out on his bike as well. He's doing pretty well with the cycling and stuff, so yeah, looking forward to getting him out on the bike and uh, get out for walks and stuff. Enjoy the weather. So that's the plan. Um, but yeah, I managed to get the photo shoot done. As I said before, the last batch of sunglasses are available on the site. Once they're gone, they're gone. So if you want to get a pair, head over to the website now. Get yourself some uh, flashback sunglasses. Um, I think that's kind of it. I think that's it. I don't think there's any other updates. Other The, the big one this week is the YouTube channel. Um, the membership options there, so that's pretty cool. Happy with that. And I'm, you know, I'm excited to bring new content to the channel and give membership only access, which uh, people have asked about, you know, we looked at doing the Patreon thing before and it was just a lot of hassle to set up, but this new YouTube membership does open up some opportunities, so looking forward to that. Right, I'm not going to keep you much longer, thank you very much for your support, I really do appreciate it. If you have liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can, but if you're a member, I'll get back to you quicker, and uh, they subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. There's a lot of people who watch these videos who aren't subscribers, but as you see with the membership thing, it opens up new opportunities for the channel. So please do subscribe. I really appreciate it. Right, I'm going to go. Stay safe, look after yourself. I will see you next week. Catch you later.